did you guys see that interview today with Joe Rogan where he was talking with somebody who had worked at uh, Facebook and was all part of the Silicon Valley? And this guy was yeah. describing what it was like to be in these cultures working with people. I, I haven't, but I no. can imagine it's an absolute, it's like being in a cult, I would think. Yeah, yeah. that's that's exactly the word purple that they used. <laughs> What's it? The, that, the person who was at Facebook said, yes, every startup is a cult and every startup since Facebook has been a cult. That's the only way that you can rationalize being treated that way and dehumanized. He said the biggest problem they were having, and this was Joe Rogan talking, was uh, he had a friend who was an executive working at Alphabet, which I think is evil, but whatever, and saying that the biggest problem they were having, they were getting the best and the brightest on paper, and they hired them, and they, they had no interest in actually doing their job at all. They had 99% of their time was spent being activists on work hours, so nothing was getting done and you gotta wonder is that part of what we're seeing in entertainment i think it's there's an element of that to that but i've said this before when all you have is a neo-marxist intersectional feminist hammer everything looks like a neo-marxist intersectional feminist nail and that's a damn shame because i think there's a lot of things Wheel of Time being on that list, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power being on that list, and God knows Halo is on that list. Yes, it's, it is. It's, it's, uh, God, oh, I'm just going to ask, did anybody here watch Halo? I mean, because I sure didn't. Nope. I'm not going to watch I did. It. Nope. Yes. Oh, God no way. Me. Yeah. Talk about it. Just, just out of curiosity, I, I was a big fan of the games. I used to play them quite a lot. And I thought, you know, this has been in development hell for, for quite a long time. They've spent 10 million per episode. So let's see where this money got spent. Yeah. <laughs> the CGI looks great <laughs> in some scenes, looks absolutely horrific in others. Very, very uh, all about the message. Not much about our hero, but there's lots of feelings, lots of women talking about uh, feelings, and Master Chief takes his helmet off in the first episode. Max, did you see any Halo? I didn't. I did see a video from a, a, a famous Twitch gamer, and normally her takes are very, like, normie-ish, I guess you could say. Like, it's very much like, yeah, I loved this thing, or I didn't mind the adaptation. But in this case, even she was like, I don't know who this is made for because it's definitely mm -hmm. not made for Halo fans. And yep. this is a established video gamer on Twitch and she loves wow. the games, but she was like, I don't know who this is made for because it's not made for me and <laughs> I'm their target audience. So she was very honest and I had to appreciate that. I, I think we're finding more and more these generic sci-fi environments uh, that these studios are making people are becoming apathetic towards these things now saying i, I just uh, i have no interest so and i wonder if that's worse than mm -hmm. anger and hatred and you know calling stuff out i wonder if apathy is worse who knows david austin uh, is replying back to purple and i know where he's going with this he says halo mm -hmm. is like wheel of time spent a bunch of money per an episode but they can't tell how or where it was spent now purple you said they spent 10 million Per per episode. Episode. Are you kidding me? And how many episodes Whoa. were there? Eight, six? I think there's 10 episodes, but they're being okay. released weekly. So, and it, this is from Paramount Plus. $10 million. And I saw some of the uh, effects and CG and that stuff. And it, and I've made this joke before, but my Xbox One version of mm. the, the Master Chief Halo game looks better than what Paramount put in there. I just, I don't know. You know, people keep saying it's money laundering. <laughs> I don't have an explanation. Where did all the money go? I mean, is it for the you know diversity courses in catering? I, I don't understand because it sure isn't on the screen. At, at this point, it's got to be because, as you say, this is basically it's generic sci-fi, but with a halo veneer over the top. And I think you said the exact same thing with Wheel of Time. And we're it's most likely going to get it with Amazon's um, Lord of the Rings as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's lost my interest. I won't be watching the next episode. <laughs> It's kind of come full circle now that the first show that I was ever on with you, Corey, was uh, us watching the Halo trailer. And then uh, now seeing the downfall of, you know. Yeah. How... You mess with the bull, you get yeah. the horns, Paramount. Next time, <laughs> yeah. I won't be so nice. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Has ever. 
This is Salty Texas Sea. I am Corey DB. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. That way you know and we have things like live streams, which we are now going to be doing every Tuesday evening. Take care. I hope you're having a great 2022.